All right, everyone, welcome back to Chris Builds. This is the next episode on making the custom exhaust for my Ducati motorcycle. On the last episode, I finished mocking up at the exhaust and mounted the silencer to the collector with the rest of the header pipes. And now I'm ready to fully weld the exhaust out. And I've definitely been practicing a whole lot. Uh, I have a lot, of, a lot of pipe monsters hanging around the shop here that just, you know, I've been using to dial in my settings on the TIG welder and practice on. And I've even been doing some destructive testing to see how strong my welds are. Um, I think I overall have an approach that's gonna work and look pretty good and be strong enough. And also allow me to work and introduce the least amount of heat to the part. Here's the four components of the exhaust system that I designed for this motorcycle. And my approach here has all been about minimizing risk of me screwing up welding it. There's about 400 linear feet of welding to do on here. And if I overheat the part or if it warps and distorts too much, it's not gonna fit on the bike again. So to combat that, not only am I using the pulser and some low amperage settings on the TIG welder, uh, but I also broke the parts down into four components. By breaking the exhaust system down into four different components, I can weld each one individually and make small tweaks and adjustments as I go if I need to. That's my approach. <laughs> Honestly, it may all be a crapshoot anyway, but let's get started and see how it goes. Quick status update on these exhaust pipes. I'm about halfway through welding them out. I've got the rear cylinder header almost completely done and about to start the front one. So I'd say I'm about at the halfway point. I just threw everything back on the bike to check fitment and see if anything warped or distorted. And I'm very happy to say everything still fits. <laughs> so pretty happy with how this is going. Now I gotta do this monster and then the link pipe over there and we should be good. That should be all the welding. Let's get to it. This guy's gonna take a while. <laughs>
Okay, I'm about halfway through welding the front header pipe. I got this portion remaining to go. This nice top portion all complete, all the way back to there. Quick fit check, let's see how it's looking. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Very happy about that. Folks, completed the weld out of the link pipe, the front header, and the rear header, and I knew this was going way too well to not have warpage and distortion. Sure enough, here we are. We got all the way to the bottom header here, and my front header doesn't line up with the collector anymore. Fortunately, I think I have a pretty easy plan to fix this. I'm just going to cut this here, remake this piece with a slight angle on it so that it lines up with the collector better. All in all, not too bad. I can fix this. Pretty happy with how everything else came out. This is looking pretty sweet. Nice. A couple minutes on the bandsaw and we got that cut off. And I got a new piece made that has the right angles on it and fits up here real nice and gives us a nice fit up with our collector. Now I just gotta tack weld this on, tack on the collector, and then weld it all up.
right, folks, that's it for this episode of Chris Bills. I'm going to end it there. I just finished all the principal welding on this custom exhaust system. So all the header pipes, the collector, everything is fully welded out and I pressure tested it on the workbench and I don't have any leaks and it fits on the bike beautifully. I'm very happy with how that came out. I was very worried about warpage and distortion while I was welding. I had to fix one little piece here, but that came out great. And I couldn't be happier with how this exhaust system fits on the motorcycle. In the next episode, I'm gonna fabricate all the mounting brackets that hold the exhaust to the motorcycle. Really glad to be done with all the welding. If you like what you're seeing on this channel, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.